I'm learning more than I ever have. Just being able to just be in there with Coach Pollock and the guys every day has been uh, progress every day. I've been getting better, and it's just been exciting just to watch my progress. What is uh, what is Coach Frank Pollock like? From, you know, with a guy that first experience in the National Football League, you get a guy that is you know a lot of energy. What, what's he like to work with? He's a blessing to work with. Just one of my favorite coaches ever already. We haven't even really got into it. He's just just been so helpful. You can tell like he really cares about. The players but also really cares about coaching to perfection. He's always just looking for ways to uh, coach and teach, and this is 24/7 with him. There's a lot to play guard. What's been the one thing you're focusing on right now? Uh, really, no, just one thing. Just everything in totality. Just working on technique, learning the plays, just everything coming together. What's been the biggest thing you've learned as you've kind of started camp and you've kind of had to work your way up now back up the depth chart? What's been the biggest thing you've learned as you've kind of went through this process of last week and change? Just uh, the game doesn't wait for anybody, so you just always have to be prepared and uh, just really focusing on taking care of your body because the NFL season is a lot longer than the college season, so making sure that I'm still going to be healthy throughout the whole entire year. How much have you learned from Xavier Sufield and Quinn Spain, both been in the league for quite some time? X is my locker buddy, so he's always in my ear, and uh, it's been really been awesome. He's always a positive influence, and Q's just an amazing guy to be able to watch and just see people who are just who've been in the league for so long and just know things that you can't really teach. You just pick up as you go and being able to get those experiences from them firsthand has been awesome. I said set in that you were in a way competing with them for, for a starting spot as well and your teammates. Yes, but like at the same time we all brothers and we all like in it together and we all feel the same way as that like we would want the best guy to go out. So we're all just competing to be the best versions of ourselves. And however that pans out after that is not up to us. We talked to Coach Taylor about what you need to do to kind of keep yourself in position to play. He said, knowing about being a pro on and off the field, well, what does that mean to you? And did you feel like you've learned more about what that actually means? Than you've been here? Yeah, just being a pro on and, off the, on and off the field, handling your business, making sure you're doing everything the right way, and being able to be around such, we have a really good locker room, a really good group of veteran guys, just being able to watch how they operate, how they handle themselves has been really eye-opening for me, and this has been helping my progress as well. Do you feel like the, you know, the way that those veterans act is different than maybe you even realized it would be before you got here? Not not totally, but it's just good to be able to have people like that around you every day. You know what I'm saying? Like I had some really good leaders and examples when I was at Clemson, guys like Cleveland Farrell, Christian, Dexter, and being able to watch them transition, they're not with you every day. You know what I'm saying? So being around guys every day and seeing how they operate is always going to be good for your progress. Speaking of Clemson. Given that competition, I mean, that's kind of a unique situation where you had two or three first-rounders along that defensive line. How do you think that helped you prepare for something like that's that? That's definitely played a huge part in just going against that level of competition every day as a as an 18-year-old kid. It's really prepared me, not only through my college career, but even now, just being able to go against guys and know that I belong here and I'm here for a reason and having confidence in that. I look at the, what Willie Anderson uh, knows about that position and the time he spent with him. Uh, how much did that help you once you got here and just some of the things that he shared with you? Willie's helped me on and off the field and just really just been in my ear, just, just keeping at it and taking everything one day at a time. And a lot of the things that Willie teaches, no matter what position you're at on the line, are going to be applicable. Just things with technique and demeanor and mindset. And so I've been able to use all that going for it. How much, how much comfort level comparing right guard versus left guard and how much is versatility something the coaching staff can talk about? I'm comfortable right now, right guard and left guard equally. How different are the techniques that uh, Frank's trying to you know, teach and, and for you to employ? How different are they? Yeah, the just like everything else at the NFL level, everything just becomes more magnified and more detailed. And so little things that you wouldn't even think about, like rotating your hand slightly on a punch, as opposed to having it, you know what I'm saying, this way. Yeah. There's little tiny details that most people kind of skip over. Frank's really just been doing a great job of teaching and implementing those techniques. Have you had a moment, a, a one moment, a one, I hate to say welcome to the NFL moment, but have you had a welcome to the NFL moment where kind of an eye-opening thing that said, you know. Have I got put on my back yet? No. <laughs> I'm sure it's coming. Those, day, those days do come, but not yet. But this definitely just my first, uh, our practice Saturday, having the fans in here and just seeing just how much love there was from the people and just the energy on that day was really special. Is there anything specifically you're doing to maybe take better care of your body than you did maybe in that clean period between OTAs and starting again? 
you repeat that question? Is there anything that maybe you learned or maybe you did differently about taking care of your body that you maybe you didn't know or weren't doing between the OTA and start training? Yeah, doing a lot more uh, like in the water recovery, stuff like that, taking pressure off my joints, and also doing stuff like cold tub and like Epsom salt baths and hot cold contrast, stuff like that. Right. I think, I think there's also, I think, the kind of the, the unspoken thing with a lot of folks when we talk about you is that maybe you didn't take care of your body as well as you needed to come into the camp. And what was that conversation like kind of with the coaching staff and what was that kind of like welcome to you know, now this is the coach, this is kind of, it's a little different than college. I mean, what was that whole interaction experience like? Yeah, and just the coaches just, you know what I'm saying, tell me, lay it flat out. You just got to take things one day at a time and just build upon, stack the chips every day. So every day you come in, don't make the same mistake you made yesterday, and always be progressive. And I think that's something that I've been working on this camp has been doing good. This may not have been what you had in mind on draft night, they drafting the second round. Has this process been hard for you? Um, I wouldn't say it's been hard or easy. I think it just is what it is, and I've just been having to just like rise to the occasion. And for what I was expecting on draft night, I feel like my entire process in totality has just been kind of just like crazy, just like just going from having surgery and not being able to do my pro day at first and then getting just a whole bunch of different things. So I've just been ex just basically expecting the unexpected, just going along with it, seeing where seeing where life takes me. When you're drafted in the first or second round, there's a lot of interest naturally from fans, et cetera. Do you feel that? Do you feel a little bit of like all eyes are on me? Um, even more, especially since I'm from the city and like people know me from high school and stuff like that. But that's just the nature of the game, and that's something that comes with it, and that's something that I'm prepared for. When was the last time you walked onto a football field and weren't instantly like looked upon as the guy? And as, not that you weren't looked upon it here as a second round pick, but there's a lot of guys here that are first round, second round picks in this team. Yeah, similar to just coming into college as a freshman and seeing all these guys who have been through the trials and tribulations and are already established, and just having to prove yourself to the veterans and work your way up to a, a place where you feel like, you know what I'm saying, you deserve that. You have the experience, obviously, of protecting a guy like Trevor in college. You come here, now the expectation is you got to protect the franchise in jail. I'm curious what kind of uh, challenge, how you embrace that challenge. It's just another part of the game. No matter who was back there, if it was the punter back there, it's my job to do a job. And so I'm going to do that to the best of my ability. And definitely having that experience with Trevor in college and just the amount of not pressure, but just like expectation, you know what I'm saying, blocking for a quarterback like that has definitely been very helpful. Just seeing this transition, number one pick, number one pick. You pride yourself uh, on your football aptitude, and have you been able to absorb everything pretty easily? Yes, sir. It's been really just like awesome just being able to learn so much, and there's so much more to learn. I'm just excited to be able to take it one at a time. Is there a moment once practice has started now that I'm a hometown kid playing for my hometown team? Ever have that moment where you just have to stop and pause and absorb that? I definitely had to, one of my first practices in the stadium, just had to appreciate just the fact that, like, wow, like I'm back home. I was born literally 15 minutes away. It's, it's just like, you had to just take it in, breathe it in, but after that, it's all work. It's when you head down and grind it. You mentioned two last two number one overall picks, Joe and, and Trevor. What have you kind of seen now that you played with Joe a little bit as far as similarities, differences between the two of them? Yeah, similarities, definitely just both really smart guys, really great communicators, very poised, coming with the same attitude every day. And on the football field, just guys that can move, that are decisive, quick, and throw a great ball. Who's better? I would not say <laughs> either one's better, but, I mean, you're going to see what both of them are going to do this year. You had the surgery, you had the rehab, everything kind of different. Really just trusting together. Are you about where you want your body to be? Are you at the right weight you want to be at? Are you feel comfortable there? Just, you know, that everything is stacked along with the surgery? I'm still feeling around to see where exactly I want, like, my, especially like switching positions, because I played it a different way in college, but still getting to that point to where exactly where I want to be and finding out what my best playing weight is at. But about, come time for the season, it'll be where it needs to be. So, what do you think it should be? Or what do you think it should be? Still just feeling around right now. Yeah. I notice you're spending a lot of time with Frank between reps. Is, is that you going to him with questions? Is that him coming to you with correction? It's both. Just, just constantly, just trying, constantly trying to improve, and constantly trying to coach me, and me constantly trying to find the right answer. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, does it depend on the volume? What's going? Because there's been times he's been loud with you, and there's other times it's looked like you guys are just kind of going over. Yeah. Stuff. When you, uh, when you get to a certain point, like the tone. You don't really pay attention to the tone, you pay attention to the message. 
So coaches can be yelling, coaches can be whispering, but you still got to hear what they say. So how he's saying it doesn't really affect me. It's just getting the information. I understand, like, we're all here to try to become better at football. You, uh, you're a physical player. Pats come on. Are you uh, anxious to showcase your physicality? Most definitely. Most definitely. As a, Cincinnati, as a Cincinnati area kid, are you looking forward to and anticipating what it's going to be like to run out of, I guess, the opposite time uh, in front of, you know, a jam-packed Paul Brown State? Most definitely. Very excited for that. Can, Can't wait. Can you kind of describe, you know, what you envision and what that's going to feel like? I don't think I necessarily want to. I want it to be a fresh experience, you know what I'm saying? And just come in and just, just be amazed. Will you have friends and family in Tampa, or will they wait till the first home preseason game here? I'm not sure about that yet. T. Higgins has been talking about getting 1,000 yards, defensive back, and talking about interception. Do you have any individual goals for the year? It's, it's harder with nothing. Yeah, my only individual goal is to win a Super Bowl.